Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to all this morning that's on the prayer line and that's coming on uh, Facebook this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Spiritual Fitness. We thank you for being up with us this morning to seek the, the face of the Lord. We're up early. Our early rising represents uh, number one, sacrifice. We know that God only accepts sacrifice. Amen. And it also represents putting God first in our day. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And the things that we need shall be added unto us. And so uh, we rise this morning and thank you for uh, those who are so diligent, uh, the fruit faithful that's so diligent to come on in the morning with us. Uh, we know, amen, that it is uh, ordained of God and we together, amen, uh, wanting to seek the Lord this morning together. Amen. And we know that if we seek him, we shall find him. Good morning. Good morning to everyone that's coming on the line. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining in. Amen. Yes, as you come, please share uh, so uh, we can uh, unite with others. Amen. In prayer. Amen. And in uh, sharing the word of the Lord. Amen. Just want to be an encouragement this morning. Uh, good morning. God put this on my heart to do spiritual fitness. <clears throat> Amen. At 515 on Wednesday mornings. Amen. He gave it to me. Uh, so I'm being obedient to the will of the Lord. And I hope that it is blessing you in the name of Jesus. Just in about 60 30 to 60 seconds, we're going to go into prayer. Amen. And uh, we're going to be praying. Amen. That God would move in our nation and that God would uh, send harvest, harvest of souls. Amen. In this season, we're praying that there will be a revival in our nation. Amen. And all over the world, actually. Amen. If we pray, amen, I know that God would move. Amen. So we want to pray. We want to pray for healing. We want to pray for deliverance. We want to pray for your family. I still believe that God is healing. Amen. And saving households in this season. Amen. So good morning to all of you. Thank you for being a part of spiritual fitness this morning where we are staying spiritually fit. Amen. Through the power of prayer and the word of God. Men should always pray and not to faint. Amen. So uh, as I begin to pray, we can throw up these uh, prayer requests in the name of the Lord. Uh, I don't know. I've seen people, uh, well, I'll, I'll wait to another time to do that. Amen. I'll wait to another time. I was thinking uh, having some guests come on live and pray with us. I don't know how to do that yet. I've seen that. I don't know how to do it yet, but I'll, I'll figure that out. By the time we come on the next time, amen. May we have some guests join us live as we pray this morning. Amen. Remember to share as we come on. Amen. Getting ready to pray and getting ready to bless the Lord. Amen. And encourage me by giving me your praise reports. Amen. Also with your prayer requests, give me praise reports on how, amen, these these morning prayers have been blessing your life. Amen. I believe God. Believe God for miracles. Amen. Breakthrough. Amen. And deliverance. Something good is about to happen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. The Lord is touching me right now. Amen. I came in early, well, uh, about 1 a.m. playing basketball. Amen. With some of the young fellas uh, of, of the church and they, they told me that I would be sore. <laughs> I ran two full courts and one half court. I'm a little sore, amen, but I feel good. I feel good and I'm up this morning, amen, blessing the Lord with you, amen. God, God is good. Let's pray. Let's pray in Jesus' name, amen. I see prayer requests are coming up, 
Amen. Thank the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. We glorify you. We lift up your name. We thank you, Lord, because this is the day that you have made. Lord, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we, we come into your presence now with thanksgiving. We come, God, seeking your face, Lord. We need you like never before. We need breakthrough. We need deliverance, Lord. We need a refreshing. We need a revival. In the name of the Lord Jesus, move by your power, Lord. Move by your strength. Do what only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for hearing these prayer requests. Lord, you, you, you see them written, oh God. You see the request that's coming up on the screen. You see the request, Lord, of those that are making requests and who have made prayer requests on the prayer line, oh God, this morning. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that you would move, uh, God, expediently, that you would move quickly that you would move now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, before the day is over, before the sun goes down. We thank you for evidence of answered prayer in the name of Jesus. There is nothing too hard for you. Oh, God, you can do anything but fail. And you promised us in your word that whatever we bind on earth, God, you would back us up and bind it in the heavens. And whatsoever we loose, God, on earth that you would loose it in the heavens. And so, God, we loose blessings in the name of Jesus. We loose miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles of healing. Oh, God, miracles of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh, God, for turning things around in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bind the works of the enemy. Oh, God, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. We rebuke Satan on every hand. We rebuke his works on every hand. Satan, the Lord God rebukes you in the mighty name of Jesus. And oh, Father, mm, oh, Father, we thank you and we praise you for moving. Oh, moving now, right now, right now. Oh, God, our faith says you're moving now. Now, faith, oh, God, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We thank you for moving now. We thank you for touching now. Oh, God, we thank you for relief now, even pain in the body. We thank you for relief now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, touch, oh God, that young man who's given his mother trouble at home. Touch in the name of Jesus. Even teenagers right now, that's in the home. Teenagers and young adults, oh God, touch, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch their mind. Touch their hearts, Lord. Oh God, we know, oh God, that you still, you're still God, oh God, and you can do anything but fail. Touch their hearts, Lord. Oh God, we thank you. Like the saints of old, pray for us. Oh God, trouble them, God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let them rest till they say yes. Don't let them rest till they say yes. Show yourself strong and mighty to them. Reveal yourself to them. Speak to them. Oh God, wake them up in the midst night hour. Disturb their sleep. Oh God, visit them like you visited me. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up, oh God. You know how to interrupt, oh God, like you interrupt, oh God, Saul on Damascus Road. We pray, God, that you would interrupt in the name of Jesus. Interrupt, God, some of our family members. Interrupt those who are not in your will. In the name of Jesus. Interrupt. We intercede in the name of Jesus, that you would interrupt for your glory and your honor, oh God, that they would have an encounter with the true and living God and say, what must I do to be saved? Oh God, we thank you, God. Oh, God, for pulling down strongholds and casting down imaginations in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Oh, God, for making the hard heart soft in the name of Jesus. We give you praise for it. We give you glory for it in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we intercede now. We are praying now. You said if we ask, it shall be given. If we seek, we shall find. If we knock, the door shall be opened. Oh, God, and we 
we asking you, God, oh God, oh God, that you would invade our loved ones, God, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they would turn, oh God, their face to the wall, and that we call on your name in the name of Jesus. Move in our homes, God. Restore families, Lord. Restore husband and wife, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sister and brother, restore, restore, oh God, even the saints, Lord, spiritual brothers and sisters, restore. We rebuke the spirit, oh God, of confusion, the spirit of division, because the devil know that a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. And so, Lord, we thank you for peace. We thank you for the spirit of peace. We thank you for revelation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We pray that you would move, God, move in our nation, move in our country, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, there are hurricanes and storms, Lord. We need you to move, God. Oh, God, we know that there's something up in the spirit, God. We need you to move, God, and we speak, oh, God, peace, God. Peace be still, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, with loving kindness, you said, have you drawn this, God? And we thank you, oh, God, for your loving kindness stretching out through America, Lord. Oh, God, and stretching out through all over the world. In the name of Jesus, draw by your spirit, God. We pray, we pray, we pray. Oh, God, you said that no man cometh unto the Father unless and no man cometh unto the Son unless he is drawn by the Father. And Lord, we pray that you would draw, God. If we pray, you would draw in the name of Jesus. Draw a harvest of souls in this season. Draw in the Okota in this season like never before. Touch the leaders of our country. Touch them that are in the White House, God. Oh, God, the heart, oh, God, of the king is still in the hand of the Lord. Oh, God, you know how to turn it in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and we thank you. We praise you for a moon, for a revival. Oh, God, in America, there can't be a revival unless the saints pray. We pray for a revival. We cry out, oh God, for a revival in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Ashai. We cry out for mercy. We cry out, oh God, in Amashai, that the Spirit of the Lord would move and have mercy upon your people in the name of Jesus. Now we thank you for deliverance and breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, oh God, oh God, oh God, for the warped mind, God, in the name of Jesus, for the, 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 the rebellious mind, God. We pray that you would break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, that stubborn spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Jesus, we come against the sickness and disease. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, with your stripes, we are healed. We thank you for healing from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We pray in the name of Jesus for healing is the children's bread. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus for my friend, Overseer Tracy Henderson, God. Heal in the name of Jesus. Touch in the name of Jesus. Come on, I'm Thank you, Lord. Oh, my shy for Minister Robin Brown. Thank you for 100% eyesight in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, God, in that right eye, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Touch, oh God. Oh God, Smallwood's nephew, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for breaking every yoke, God. Lifting every burden, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for healing. Thank you for miracles now, in the name of Jesus. Bless, oh God. 
Rabo Shiandia. Oh God, every prayer warrior now, every prayer request that's hitting the screen, bless in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we praise you. For I anoint the screen in the name of Jesus. Healing, deliverance, breakthrough. The power of the living God. The power of the Levashai. The power of the living God. Touch in the name of Jesus. Thank you. We rebuke the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. The spirit of depression is being lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we speak encouragement. Oh, God, we speak in the name of Jesus. Oh, like David encouraged himself in the Lord. Oh, God, we said, the saints and the, the people of God shall encourage themselves in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for things are getting better. We thank you. Oh, God, for many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Uh, weeping may endure for a night, uh, but joy cometh in the morning. We thank you, O oh God, for change. We thank you, oh for better God, for you got a better season for us, for you got breakthrough for us, you got deliverance for us, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, we praise you, we lift you up, God. We thank you for doing it now. We thank you for the anointing, O oh God, that destroys every yoke and lift every burden. We thank you for chains of breaking. We thank you for a new season. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But good things are about to happen. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for a turnaround. In the name of Jesus, prayer today is turning this thing around. Prayer is turning it around. We thank you for favor. We thank you, Lord, for favor with God and favor with man. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We declare it now. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And we declare it. We decree it in the name of Jesus that our prayers are answered, that things are getting better. In the name of Jesus. Recovery is coming to your body. In the name of Jesus. Recovery, O Kabashande, is coming to you now. Oh God, hallelujah. O Kabashande, not only will your health recover, O Kabashande, but what the enemy has stolen, you shall recover all. Without fail, you shall recover all. In the name of Jesus. Recover all, saith the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Pursue, pursue for what God has for you. No man can stop you from getting it. Go forward in the name of the Lord. It's already yours this day. Victory is yours. Breakthrough is yours. Favor is yours. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive it because it is the will of God that you be blessed, that you be blessed. Hallelujah. It is the will of God. That you be healed, that you be delivered, that you have breakthrough through. Above all things, God said, he wished that we would prosper, be in health, even as our soul prosper. It is the will of God for you to prosper in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive the will of God for your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. We pray. Hallelujah. We pray. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise him like it's already done. Praise him like God is already did it. It's already done. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank God. We praise him for victory today. We praise him for victory today. Hallelujah. Amen. That, oh God, that whatever, amen, God has promised you, whatever he spoke to you about, amen, that is already done. Just go for it. Praise him for it. Believe him. We believe. Amen. That's why we praise. Amen. We praise a God that we've never seen because we believe believe what he has said in his word. We believe it in the name of Jesus and faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. We believe that if we ask, it shall be given. If we seek, we shall find. If we knock, the door shall be open. I believe, amen, that we have what we have asked for. Amen. The Bible says, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, amen, is key. Believing ye shall receive. Amen. It don't make sense to pray if you don't 
believe. Believe that it's already done. I don't care what it looks like. Believe that it is already done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the spirit of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My body feel better already. Thank the Lord. Amen. Under this anointing, I feel his presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank the Lord. I just want to uh, share a man word with you uh, this morning. Amen. Just just briefly, just to share a word with you. Amen. Thank the Lord. It's already done. That's right. Amen. Say that with me. It's already done. Yes. Thank you for those thumbs up. Give them praise and glory this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to walk out of your house today or wherever you're going today. Walk like you got victory. Walk like you more than a conqueror. Amen. Walk like you cannot lose. Amen. Lift your head up high. Shrug your shoulders back. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. You got to make up in your mind that God's word, amen, is God's will for your life. His word is his will for your life. Amen. And that you already got the victory. We are more than conquerors through him that loves us. God is on our side. Amen. And so we know, thank you, Jesus, that heaven, heaven is backing us up. He said, whatsoever you loose on earth, he said, I'll loose it in the heavens. Hallelujah. You are not alone. God is walking with you. And the Holy Ghost, amen, is your assurance that God is with you. Because if he abides on the inside of you, amen, you got everything. The Bible says, amen, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that we can ask according to the power that worketh within us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we can ask according to the power that worketh within us. It is the Holy Spirit that's within us. Amen. He is able to do exceeding and above all that we can ask or think according to what? The power that worketh within us. Remember, the power is within you. Amen. We bless the Lord. All right. Amen. I want to encourage you. The Lord encouraged me. Amen. Uh, through Hebrews chapter 11. Very familiar uh, passages of scripture. Hebrews chapter 11. He encouraged my heart the other day and I preached some of it uh, in uh, Pennsylvania on Sunday morning and then in New York on that Sunday afternoon. And uh, I, I, it's just in my heart because to me, uh, it's important, it's imperative, amen, uh, that, uh, that we are in the will of God for our lives, amen, uh, because one of the things, amen, that we uh, don't want to do, I don't want to do, and I'm sure you don't want to do, is that you don't want to waste time uh, doing what God has not willed for your life. Uh, I'll say that again. You don't want to waste time doing what God has not willed for your life. Amen. We know that we have the word of God, which the word of God is the, the word of God is the will of God. It is the, it is the, the mind of God. It's what God has already approved. Amen. Um, uh, in the world and for humanity and, uh, for all things to come. Amen. In the end, from Genesis to Revelations, you see the, the will of God, how God thinks, what he desires. And, uh, uh then there there is a uh, 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 personal will uh, that God has for each and every one of us. Uh, like God had a will for Abraham and uh, God had a, a will and a plan for Joseph, uh, for David, for Moses, uh, for Esther. I can go on and on and on. Amen. Uh, the, it is imperative that we understand the will of God for our lives because if we don't understand, and I'm trying to put it in a way, God's will for our lives, uh, we'll be wasting time, we'll be unfruitful, uh, being in a place where God did not call us to be. And um, we only can be fruitful where God has willed for us to be. Uh, uh, the Bible says, amen, that God told uh, Saul, it is hard to kick against the prick. In other words, amen, that uh, Saul 
amen, uh, was going against God's people. And and it was, he was expressing, it's going to be hard. You're not just going to go against the people of God and expect it to be easy. Uh, the scripture also says, amen, uh, that the way of a transgressor is hard. And transgressing, amen, is to, is to be in a place which is prohibited for you to be in. Uh, uh, that's, of course, is sin, but you've got to look at it also as a place of, uh, as saints, not being where you should be in God. All right, I'm going uh, uh, ahead of myself right now, but you can be saved, but be in the wrong place. I believe David was in the wrong place. He should have been on the battlefield, amen, but he wasn't in the right place. He wasn't where he should have been, and he got caught up in something that he should not have caught, got, gotten caught up in. Have you ever been in the wrong place at the wrong time, even though it was your place? You shouldn't have been there. <laughs> amen. At that moment and at that time, uh, you were out of the will of God. And being out of the will of God can cause uh, some problems for you. But let me let me go let me go into this. I'm just want to read uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6, and it says here. It says, "But without faith, it is impossible to please Him." For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I want to title this a believer's reward. A believer's reward. But who, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, this word faith here in this text. Uh, it, 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 it literally means, amen, without faith in God's will, without faith in God's will, which is his word. His word is his will. His will is his word. Without faith in God's will, it is impossible. That means apart from faith, apart from believing what God has willed for your life, it is impossible to please God. The only thing that can please God is what God had already designed and willed. I hope y'all y'all get what I'm saying. We can't please God on our own. There are ways that we ought to come to God. Um, uh, uh, we can cry all day, but God doesn't respond uh, to our tears, for say, or our sadness. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Into and to his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. There's a way that you come before God. Then God is pleased. Once God is pleased, amen, then the reward follows when God is pleased. So apart from faith, it is impossible to please God. Apart from doing things God's way, it's impossible to please God. Uh, Cain thought he could please God, amen, uh, but not offering a sacrifice. But Abel did. Uh, Saul thought that it was all right for him uh, to keep the spoils when God told him to destroy it all. He was rejected because of it. There is a way to come to God, and only God's will can please the Lord. All right? It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me go, let me go, let me go back. <clears throat> so can I express this before the time is up? Uh, whew, I said, I said a few minutes ago, amen, uh, that we can only do what God has willed for our lives. Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. What did he believe? He believed what God told him. He believed Amen. That he would be uh, the father of many nations. Uh, he believed, amen, uh, in what God willed for his life. And because he believed that, it was a calendar to him for righteousness. He obeyed God. Uh, you have to obey God for your life. Uh, 
Joseph believed God. He believed God to the point where he confessed it. He confessed his dreams. It got him in trouble. But eventually, he got out of trouble and became what God said he would become. In text, you don't see no grumbling with Joseph. Uh, you don't see uh, Joseph having a vengeful heart. Joseph believed God without uh, trying to vindicate himself after his brethren uh, uh, did him so dirty. Amen. He believed God. He believed God. And when you believe God, you line yourself up with the will of God. Amen. You know trouble will hit your life. And the Bible says these words, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. I come to tell you, when you believe God, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel God. When you believe God, you know trouble don't last always. Trouble is supposed to hit your life, but trouble will not always be in your life. I say that again. That's the will of God. Trouble will hit your life, but it won't always be in your life. So you praise God through the troubled times. All right. Uh, let me let me go a, a, a little bit further. Moses believed God. He believed him for the assignment that God gave him. See, he believed God and went to Pharaoh and told Pharaoh to let my people go. He believed God and brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Uh, you have to believe God for the assignment of your life. Abraham, Joseph, Moses had different assignments. Some of us are trying to mimic other people's assignments. You cannot prosper during someone else's assignment because that is not the will of God for your life. Everybody cannot do the same thing and expect to prosper. You can only prosper what God has willed for your life. Check this out. The Bible says, um, except the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain that build it. So what, that, what does that mean? That means you can only uh, be successful in what God has already built for you. You can only walk in what God has already built for your life. So uh, that means if God didn't build it, you can try to build it all you want. You will not succeed. Like the Tower of ba 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 Babel, 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 <laughs> the, table of, the Tower of Babel, they tried to build. They were building a tower. It wasn't the will of God. That's why it wasn't successful. Even though they were united, the people were together. Nobody saying amen. But even though they were together, they were, they were working in unity. But God stopped what he was doing, came down and said, the people are one, nothing will be refrained from them. So if nothing will be for, refrained from them, why didn't they complete the, the towel? They, God confused their language. Why? Because it wasn't his will for him to build the tower, for, for them to build that tower of Babel. It wasn't his will. Uh, you know, I, I made up in my mind. I, I can't do what everybody else does. You, you got to be careful of mimicking people, doing because everybody else is doing it, doing it because you see it on television, you know, doing it because you go to another church, you see them doing that. No, you got to know the assignment of the Lord for your life. The Bible says that we are trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. So we can only prosper where God has planted us. We can't plan ourselves. The kingdom of God is not a smorgage ball. We can't pick and choose what we want to be. Because if you can pick and choose what you want to be, then you can pick your struggles. You can pick your trials. You can pick your mama and daddy. You can pick the day you were born. You did not pick the day you were born. You did not pick who your mama and your daddy was. You did not have anything to do with where you were born, what side of town you were born on. Why? Because that was the will of God for your life. Those some things are left for God. And you've got to align. We have to align ourselves with the will of God so we can uh, so we can see the finished product of what God has already built. Thank you, Jesus. So therefore, the Bible says this, in all thy ways, acknowledge him 
and he will direct our path. That makes prayer important. That makes seeking God important. Seek and ye shall find. You know, you got to be careful. Thank you, Jesus. You got to be careful of just being smart and intellectual, which is all good. It all has its place. Amen. But seeking the will of God. Amen. It comes to reading his word. It comes to prayer. Amen. Samuel, Samuel heard the voice of God for his life. Thank you, Jesus. God, hallelujah. God answered the prayer of his mama, Hannah. And, and, and God called Samuel. God called him, spoke to him. You know the story. He spoke to him and Samuel walked out the will of God for his life. I want to tell you that's real faith. Faith is when you know the will of God for your life and believe that God is going to bring it to pass in your life so you walk it out. Hallelujah. God has already got an end for you. He's already got an expected end for you. So therefore, we as people of God, we got to know the will of God for our life. There's many things that, uh, uh, that we may not want to do, but we got to do because our victory will our victory will only come when we are in his will. That's why we've got to be careful. We got to be careful with what we do. I hope, I hope you got something. If I don't go no further, amen. I hope you got something out of that. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Now, look, it says, it says, for he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. The reward, the, re the reward comes after we walk by faith. The reward, hallelujah, comes after we walk by faith. And uh, he says, he says, uh, for he that cometh to God must first believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently, diligently seek him, diligently seek him. One of the challenges of the people of God, and I know because I'm one of them, is being diligent in seeking him diligent in seeking him. He's a rewarder for them that diligently seek him. Not those that just seek him, but diligently. Diligently. Diligent means a, a consistent, a constant effort. Every day you got to seek God. Every day you got to seek God. Every day you got to seek God. Every day you got to go higher in God. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So that means you can't go a day without seeking the will of God by being in his will of God. Men should always pray and not to faint. It's a always day. You don't even have to always pray on your knees, but you should always have a prayerful heart. Amen. A heart that seeks the Lord, uh, leaning and depending on his word. Uh, the Bible says that the just, the just shall live by faith. So that means if you're going to live by faith, that means every day you're walking in faith. Every day, you know, every second that you breathe, you are walking by faith in God. So the diligent, those that are consistent. So now the devil wants to make us inconsistent. He don't want to make us constant seeking God. He wants to make us uh, 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 inconsistent. And we know that if we're inconsistent, the Bible says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And then it says, expect not that man to receive anything from the Lord. So therefore, the enemy wants to make us schizophrenic. He wants us to be faithful on Monday and unfaithful on Tuesday. He wants to be on, for us to be on fire and believe in God on Sunday, you know, but by the time next Sunday come, we done lost our joy. We got to be consistent. What was consistent about Paul and Silas was their praise. They praised God in prison. They praised, they prayed in prison. And it was no indication uh, that God would uh, break the chains and open the cells. But it's something about when you in the will of God, and that you praise him. I, I, I just know. I know it. It's just revelation to me. And God told me the doors were open because God came in there because God responded to their praise. They were in jail, but yet in the will of God. They did the will of God in prison. 
And what did they do? They prayed and they praised. And the Bible says, uh, in all things give thanks. Why? For this is the what? Will of God in Christ Jesus. I, I got it. I hope you got it. You do it because it's his will. You praise him because it's his will to praise him. You pray because it's his will to praise him. It doesn't, doesn't matter how we feel. You, you do it because it's his will. And when you have faith in his will, and when you're diligent in his will, you reap the reward. You reap the reward. What is the reward? I got, I got the clothes. Hallelujah. I got the clothes and get on my prayer line. The reward, uh, God took me to Genesis. He told, he showed me uh, what he told Abraham. Abraham, God told Abraham, I am your exceeding, exceeding and great reward. <laughs> he told him, I am your exceeding and great reward. Your reward is God. Good God. Your reward is God. I hope you, some people don't get excited. You thought your reward would be a car, a house a wife, a husband. No, those things come. Those, those are not the rewards. Your reward is God. If God be for you, who can be against you? If you got God on your side, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. When God is your reward, he'll fight for you. Thank you, Jesus. He'll fight your enemies for you. He'll fight sickness and disease for you. When God is on your side, he'll give you favor in the city and in the field. He'll bless your coming in and your going out. God has to be your reward, real reward, your living reward. Amen? Amen. So the reward is God, but be faithful. Be a faithful believer. I learned that when you have God in your life, you have peace in your life. That's why Jesus was able to sleep on the ship while water and everything was coming on the ship because he had God. When you got God, you got everything. He's your all in all. He's your provider. God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. I'm late. I hope you got it. I hope you got it. Be faithful. Get in the will of God. Do your assignment. Do what you know he told you to do. Don't, don't, and I'm not, I'm serious. I'm not being funny. Don't be like everybody else. And don't, don't be one of those people that are pressured by other people. Don't be living to try to prove something to other people. If people laugh at you, let them laugh. If, if they laughed at Joseph, they laughed at Jesus. Don't, 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 don't let people do that to you. People laugh at what they don't understand. Everybody's not going to understand you. Everybody's not going to understand your calling and what God is doing in your life. Don't do things to be popular. Don't do things to be famous. Do it because it's the will of God for your life. Do it because it's the will of God for your life. I do things. I, I, I am past. I am past that of just public opinion. I'm past hype. It don't even matter. It don't, it don't even matter. As long as I'm in the will of God, I'm not doing anything for hype. I've seen God open doors, make a way because I'm in his will. I don't want to have hype and be outside of his will and just looking like I got it together. I, I, I'm, ta I'm just too, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just not that way. I want to have it together. I want a peaceful home. I, I, you know, I want God to be in my life after church. I want God to be in my life when I go home. I want to see him doing some things in my natural life, not just in church looking like I got the victory. I hope I didn't lose nobody, and I'm serious. I ain't trying to offend anybody. I'm just, I'm just talking about me. I'm just talking about me, uh, that I really want God for real in my home. I want him in my life. I want him going with me to the doctor. I want him uh, in my marriage. I want him in my children's life. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want God for real outside, amen, of just, of just church. I want God because you can be in church and not be in God. Jesus said, I come that you might have life. He didn't say I come that you might have church. And you know, I love church. So, you know, I ain't going against church, but people got church, but they don't have a good life. So, uh, you know, get in the will of God for your life. And when you're in the will of God for your life, 
God will make your life successful. For when a man's ways please the Lord, he will make his enemies be at peace with him. Your enemies may not be my enemies. There's a struggle you may have that I may not have. And you only know what your struggle is. But when you get in the will of God, just, you know, when you read the Bible, you see every time Israel got out of the will of God, the enemies defeated them. But when they got in the will of God, they overcame their enemies. So stay in the will of God for your life. Stay in the word. Stay in the will of God. Hear the voice of God. Know what God is calling you to do. Know, know your convictions that the Lord has given you. <laughs> know your convictions. I don't care who you're around. You can be nice. You can be friendly. But know your convictions. Your convictions. Be real. Know what God has given you. And I am too long today. But I love you. I'm going into prayer. See you next week. Next Wednesday, 5.15 a.m. And uh, remember, there is a reward for the believers. Be faithful to the will of God on your life. Search it out. Know what he's called you to do. Uh, Aaron couldn't do what Moses did, but Moses and Aaron were successful being individuals doing what God had willed for their life. You might not be first, but you can be first being second. You can be the best second you can ever be. And when you're comfortable in your own skin and comfortable in the will of God, you, 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 you'll be happy, man, where you are in life. Why? Because it's the will of God. I love you. I bless God for you. Even your assignment. Ministers, enjoy what you got, man. Enjoy the open doors you have. You know, enjoy the open. Don't be frustrated because you ain't preaching at Megafest. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy the will of God. I love you. I bless God for you. Just have, enjoy the will of God, and you'll find out your life will be blessed. I love you. I bless God for you. Talk to you next time. In Jesus' name, Lord, bless your people like never before. Let something was said today uh, that will change a life forever. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. God bless.